Here we define x two times, so what's going to happen? So we have x equals one, and then we have this foo function where we set x to be two, and we log out x. But then outside of foo, we also log out x again. So what's going to happen is we log two, then one. So inside of foo, we have x equals two, and we log out x. And we still have access to x equals one here. However, whenever we are accessing some variable, like we are in console.log here, it's going to look sort of to a chain of variables. First, it looks to the local variables and says, okay, is there an x here? And there is, so we use just that local one. So in this case, we just use two. But then down here, we log out whatever x we have. And in this case, we don't have access to the function. So the only x we have is this global one. However, what's also worth noting is that because we used let here, we are declaring a new x. We are not redefining the existing one, so that's why we still have one. However, if we didn't have let and we just said x equals two, well, this would actually change the global x. So now we would get two and then two.